Well, one cause of the obesity epidem epidemic in America is not only that we eat too much, it's that we often eat the wrong kinds of food. More than half of our calorie intake comes from what are known as ultra-processed foods. CBN's Lori Johnson tells us what they are and why they're so bad for our health. Shocking research examining nearly 10,000 Americans reveals exactly how much of our diet is made up of so-called fake food. Nearly 60% of our daily calories come from ultra-processed foods, and of that, 20% is sugar. The study also shows Americans get less than 1% of their calories from vegetables. Ultra-processed foods contain about five times more added sugar than non-processed regular foods. In fact, almost all the added sugars we consume come from ultra-processed foods. Ultra-processed foods are ones that have already been made, like frozen dinners, breakfast cereals, and snacks. We do nothing to prepare them, or in some cases, just very little. They contain a long list of mysterious ingredients that are difficult to visualize and pronounce. Health experts say the sugar in ultra-processed foods, as well as the hydrogenated oils, artificial additives, emulsifiers, and preservatives lead to problems like obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. The solution is gaining control over that food. Michael Moss, who exposes the trade secrets of the food industry in his book, Salt, Sugar, Fat, isn't surprised Americans keep coming back for more of these foods from the big companies. They got big by making products that are utterly irresistible to people, both in taste, but also ultra convenient that will sit on the shelf and be waiting for you when you're ready to eat them and also incredibly low cost. Don't feel bad if you can't stop eating or drinking these products. Moss says the food industry spares no expense engineering items that are addictive, foods that reach the pleasure pinnacle known as the bliss point. And not just taste, but even texture, something they call mouthfeel. Those chips will compel you to eat more and more beyond what you, you should, and you'll go back for more bags and more bags. Health experts say the solution is simple, but not easy. Just say no to delicious, cheap, and convenient ultra-processed foods, and embrace whole foods, ones with no ingredient list that you'll find on the perimeter of the grocery store, and prepare from scratch at home. Lori Johnson, CBN News. Thanks, Lori. Pat, as Lori just said, just say no to those ultra-processed foods. I don't, I don't eat that junk. I tell you what, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you have a price club in your town, if you join it or something, uh, uh, some kind of a wholesale food thing, but go to them, get a big bag of frozen blueberries. Big bag. They have them price club, big bag. And then they have these big cans or containers of mixed nuts. They're delicious. Mm. Sorry. Like Sam's Club or what happened yeah, maybe too? Yeah, well, they have, they have them there too, I imagine. But anyhow, um, Price Club is, is known for the big wholesale stuff. Okay, and you take some of those nuts and you take some of those berries and then you can get a big container of Quaker oatmeal, which doesn't have any sugar in it, and you can mm. put the oatmeal in there. And uh, it makes a delicious filling, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. And mm. that's all you need. Sounds amazing. It's so simple. I had my green drink this morning. Oh, that's why I'm, you look. I, I keep saying I'm going to bring it in and let you try it. Well, I had like a it. green drink too. I, I have I have no, greens that are processed, little powder, and I put it in mm -hmm. some orange juice. It's pretty good too. But yeah. this is this is better. You'll like this. I'm going to bring oh, it well, in. I, I want to see your green drink. <laughs> okay. All right. All right.